Dan, you're the Dan Huber is the president of Inspection Support Network. Uh, let me bring up your homepage just so everyone gets familiar with the the homepage. And um, Dan, you are going to talk to us about everything that ISN provides to its clients. And um, you're the president of it, is that right, Dan? And you've been doing this for quite some time. Yeah, my 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 quick background is is that I actually started selling real estate. I was a full time realtor for over 25 years, and then we started our inspection company in Las Vegas. Grew it to 10 inspectors. Had that 12 years, um, and it's still in existence today. Sold it like three three years ago. And how ISN came about was when we looked at uh, starting our inspection company, we couldn't find any good way of of connecting, scheduling with um, uh, communication to the agents, report delivery, and things like that. So uh, that's really how ISN came to be was just a, a need in the marketplace to to have um, basically all the the pains that inspectors have uh, have them all connected, so there wasn't a bunch of retyping. Very good, very good. So um, I think I've given you controls. Yes, and can you see my screen there, sir? I, I certainly can. Well, um, well then, first off, I'd like to just thank uh, uh, Iranachi and Ben and, and Nick and Chris and the gang. Um, what we want to do today is m mostly just talk about the mobile side of, of ISN. We've all become way more mobile. Um, and so I, for, I want to make sure there's value if there's uh, some of our listeners that our ISN clients that you get some value if you are not an ISN client or and don't even want to be you're just interested in sort of what's going on out there in other parts of the market we want to make sure and try to give you both value so but we're going to concentrate on two things we're going to concentrate on the inspector mobile what you have on your phone as part of the ISN um, uh, business platform and you've also got the real estate dashboard which is uh, an amazing thing that you can give to your real estate agents. So they literally have your logo on the desktop on their phone and can uh, view past inspections, order an inspection, change their information uh, for your report delivery page, a lot of those kinds of things. So I'm just going to start with sort of the flow of ISN in general is the whole idea is no matter what system you use, uh, you have to take an order. You have to take client information, realtor information, uh, square footage, address, things like that. And, and if, uh, if most of the uh, folks listening are like me, I hate to type. I'm a pretty good two-finger typer, but that's as far as I've come along. And um, so typing uh, less is better for me. Um, and you also want to make sure that you have clients and agents have the ability to order an inspection in a lot of different ways. Not wait till you get out from an attic or off of a roof or with a client. So you can order uh, an inspection uh, directly on ISN where you actually open up your specific ISN and take your order. And we have things like the client, the information from the realtors. You'll have your realtors in, in your database. So when you start to type Ben, you'll see Ben from Miko, and then you'll click on it. And you'll see that Ben's done 16 inspections with you, eight as a buyer's agent, eight as a seller's agent, when he used you last, so you've got great information there. Um, most all of the major call centers um, are connected with ISN, so America's Call Center, Inspector Services Group, uh, PASS, there's a lot of them. There's probably six or seven of the uh, national call centers that um, uh, connect directly with ISN. You definitely want to be able to have information order from your website, your Facebook, and maybe your ISN um, mobile, and then certainly your real estate dashboard from the agents. And that information that's taken on those orders, everyone, for those not um, uh, familiar with ISN, is that information all pushes in to, you know, all of the information, you know, your, your if you're using like, you know, 3D, Home Gauge, Home Inspector Pro, Palm Tech, Horizon, all those kinds of um, things that information from that or pushes into your report, pushes into your agreements, pushes into your automated emails. So imagine that you can have emails that, that go out to your clients and agents and they can say whatever you'd like. Of course, we have a really great library, guys. Um, 
uh, that, that you can just use the standard templates or you can edit them to your liking. And of course you have um, what they call replacement fields. So it looks like you personally typed it in. So it's gonna say, hello, Ben, you know, thanks for ordering the inspection on 123 Main Street. We have you scheduled for Friday at two o'clock. Your inspector will be Dan Huber. Um, here's a link, uh, Mr. Uh, client or Mrs. Client to, um, to sign your agreement digitally. And here's, you know, you can pay. So you can have those emails be what you want. And the cool thing is, is you can decide what, when they go out from one minute after you take the order to five years after the order. So you've got amazing flexibility. So you can have a 24 hour reminder. You can have a, um, uh, you know, a three day follow up with an invoice, a one year follow up, whatever you think is appropriate. You turn on the ones you want, you're in control. Um, and so here's an example here of you can just say, so a quick reminder inspection tomorrow on, and then the address and the time, thanks. Um, your honor team. So these are texts. So um, I, you know, most of us, um, if you're uh, like I'm 58, so I never thought I would really text much years ago, but here I text a lot, like most of us, more than we thought. And um, and when you get a text, you tend to look down and look at it right away. And so the texts um, are are fabulous. You want the email as well, but you want that text to go out 24 hours before. You want a text to go out, um, uh, you know, maybe to your inspectors an hour before each inspection. So there's a lot of flexibility on the texting. Um, your audit, the whole idea is it's not each feature, guys. It's that each feature is connected to the next piece. That's the key. Is, is so if you take your order, that information is going to push into those emails. It's going to push into those texts. It's going to push into the agreement, so the agreement can go out. You don't have to fill that out. The agreement's going to get there to the client before the inspection, even if they don't sign it. And if they um, haven't signed it, when you get to the inspection, you're going to be able to have them sign it right on your inspector mobile, which we'll go over in a minute. So you can see all of the all of the different. Um, uh, logos, so you can, you know, maybe something looks good to you if you use, you know, Home Inspector Pro or whatever it is you use, some of the call centers, and then some of the ancillary services that are out there. So um, we're very proud that we've been able to sort of become, um, uh, you know, uh, the, one of the connectors of the industry. I really, uh, truly believe and are very proud that that like Nick and Ben at, at InterNACHI um, and us, I feel like we have been two of the leaders in the industry as far as uh, getting value to you guys as inspectors because we were inspectors, we understand the business, and um, it's been a fun journey. I remember uh, way back years or years ago doing one of the first uh, videos with, with Nick years ago, and, and a lot of things have changed then. Uh, back when we first started ISN, um, it, we were sort of the – cool new thing, maybe send out some emails to the clients and stuff that nobody was doing. A great report was enough. Today, um, a great report is still obviously needed. Um, a great inspection obviously needed. I don't think that that, I think it hap a great inspection happens 99% of the time out there. But the, the business process, the agents are starting to um, expect um, the automated, the emails, the, the text, the nice report delivery, um, the mobile apps, uh, built-in marketing. If you want to, if you want to do mass emails, um, uh, uh, specific emails to an office, if you're doing a presentation, you can do all that within ISN as well. So you don't have to manage multiple databases. You don't have to pay eye contact or constant contact or whatever. Um, and then we have a library of graphics for you. You can certainly put your own, your own in, but we've got a great library for all of the holidays and and things like that for your um, mass emails. Um, we'll, we'll look at this on the mobile, but there you've got a good uh, example of uh, the agreement signing. Um, you can sign on any uh, tablet. Um, they can move their mouse. They can write with their finger. All very trackable. And that's why um, uh, you'll, you'll find uh, Inspector Pro, um, uh, Bob Pearson, you know, all of the major uh, insurance carriers all 
recommend ISN because they know if you get into an issue that everything is trackable. When each email went out, when each text went out, when it was opened, when the contract was sent, when it was signed, it's stored. So you've got a best practices process which really allows um, your E&O carrier to help protect you. So not only does it help you streamline and market better, stay in touch better, make your life easier day to day, but it also reduces your liability. And then your business reports, and Ben talked about that as far as some of the InterNACHI classes when you get started. And by the way, if, you're, if you've been with InterNACHI a long time, and there's so much good information that they put on there on a continual basis, go back and take a look at some of the some of the new stuff that they're constantly putting putting in, and you're probably a seeker of knowledge if you're if you're on this call for good for you. But you know, uh, one of the things um, is is almost everybody I meet really is a great inspector, and and as inspectors, I think we we look at so many more things in a property than what people realize. But on the business side, sometimes. We don't have quite the background in running a business when we get started, and so ISN will help you with that, looking at how many inspections each office has done, each realtor has done, um, you know, referrals, uh, you know, where, what, uh, uh, what zip codes, uh, what you you know, you're getting your work from, every kind of business report you can imagine, how you compared this month to last month, all those kinds of sort of nerdy uh, CEO stuff that you know we like to have but we don't want to be spreadsheet uh, crazy on it all right so let's get into our, our mobile side that's the, the the really quick overview of ISN because it does so many things I I, I just want to talk mostly about the mobile today so the inspector mobile is just great because um, if you're having somebody answering your phones which hopefully you are I'm a big proponent of that rather than trying to answer the phone yourself you probably don't um, upsell as well as somebody else if you've got somebody in your house it's your wife your friend all that's good but hopefully somebody their job is to answer your business phone I, I, I can see over and over as I go around the country meeting with inspectors that it always makes them more money so imagine that on your phone you've got this ISN icon on your desktop and you can go to an inspection you can capture signatures like we talked about you can process the credit card card all of your information is all in uh, one place so the inspector mobile um, just so that some of you know you're not looking in like the app store it's it's not a true app so you're, you're not going to find it in the Apple Store or the Google Play it must be sent from your ISN so if you're an ISN user you uh, you know it will show you how to do that um, if you're not an ISN user, you don't care right now, but I just don't want you to go to one of the stores looking for it, can't find it. And one of the reasons that we do that is because we're very proud of the fact that we're constantly making things better. For those of you that have been in the business five years or 10 years or more, you know that the industry has changed dramatically over the last few years. Um, I'm very proud that it's, uh, you know, we're, we're growing up as an industry um, and there's a lot more expected of us as a result. But so we're changing things, we're adding things, we're making ISN constantly better. And if we ha if it was actually an app, when we put changes in, then we have to wait for like uh, Google Play for two weeks till they put things in. Where if we put changes in, we can put them in that same day. And if you are on ISN, you can navigate to tools and, and send my mobile device. By the way, I'm gonna send Ben um, the link um, for this presentation. Um, uh, so that he can put it up we just put this up on our website today and and um, and and maybe uh, I don't know if Ben is going to put it on theirs but we'll make sure we have this um, presentation available for you I will um, okay great um, so this is actually in ISN um, so you can see you can go to tools and send send my device there and that's how you would get it and then you'll you'll put in your phone number and it will and it will send it to you and you're gonna get a little thing like this on your phone you'll just click on the link and then over on the right is where you'll put your username and password just make sure you remember that because um, again none of us really like to type much so you don't want to have to remember that you can just click on that icon when you want your ISN mobile and it'll go right there in an overview um, I mean this is showing you know the Apple users we put this in so that the presentation can help some of our ISN users or 
some of our maybe uh, maybe some of you might want to test drive ISN and see if it works for you. But if you use an Apple, um, how do you get it on your desktop? But what I really want to show you is the today. So <clears throat> you can see, like if I'm an inspector and I'm the owner, I'm going to have permissions to see everybody's inspections. But if I'm an inspector for that company, I'm probably only going to be seeing mine. So I can see last week, this week, I can see upcoming, I can see incomplete inspections, I can search for clients and agents, and I can send them the dashboard. And, and so the agent acquire is, is, and I'll show you that in a little bit, is if you happen to go to an inspection and a, say a buyer's agent showed up, which I realize they don't real often, but you want the opportunity if that agent isn't in your database and ISN is to quickly and easily send them um, you know, get them into ISN and send them the link right while you're standing with them. Because if you can get these, if you can get um, uh, your real estate dashboard on the agent's uh, phone, then you then you're going to have a chance of of them using it, never using any other inspector. But again, not to confuse you, this is the inspector app only or mobile. So um, there's how you can save it um, if you're, um, you know, using um, an Android. But let's let's go here. So imagine that you can view and schedule inspections for today, incomplete orders you can search, send the dashboard, and you can start a new order. Now the the thing is, is you can start a new order, guys, on your ISN mobile. But realistically, if you're carrying a phone around, it's a drag. You don't want to do it. We put it in there so that you can really do it. But the people, if you're set up where you're taking orders and you're out in the field, you're probably much better off having your full ISN open um, on, a, you know, whether it's a, a tablet or a laptop or an iPad or whatever, so you got a little bigger screen, a little easier way to type. If you wanna, if you wanna thumb your way to an order on your <laughs> ISN mobile though, you certainly can do it. One of the things that is really nice, if you there's a lot going on on this screen, so let's look at the left side here. Imagine you're going to an inspection, you just pull it up and you're like, okay, my clients, Michael, Dramino, great. Oh yeah, that's that Cheryl girl. Um, I okay, I know her. Oh, the the listing agent. Okay, maybe I know her or not. Um, and hey, here's my square footage, and I got electric lockbox, and it's not been paid, and it's not been signed. You know, if I hit property information, then I, over here on the right, I can see the inspection type, what kind of inspection I have to do, uh, you know, whether I need to do a termite, you know, all the stuff that's there. Hey, it's vacant and I need to do, uh, well, this is uh, uh, Michelle Shashilla is one of our speakers and trainers for ISN. She has on her construction down in, um, in Florida. So this is wind mitigation and four points, some sort of Florida stuff. But the point is, is you can refresh everything that's going on for that house before you get there. In the old days, we used to have to print that out. And you still can print it out. So if you've got some old school guys there that you really like the map and the turn by turn directions and all the stuff on a printed paper, you certainly can still still do that for, for back up uh, comfort. Um, Taking care of business, uh, you know, just the ability to go, oh, where the, I'm at the curb, where the heck is the clients or the agents? Um, I can just call people and it will pull up uh, the client, the agent, anybody that was taken on the order and go, hey, where are you? Um, I can send uh, or sign agreements. Um, if you need to send an email template for some reason from your phone, you can. Um, if they hand you a check and they want an invoice right away, you pull out your phone and you and you got your send invoice right there and you go there it's in your inbox i mean you, uh, now and the more they see you as the savvy connected business person we've noticed that the more they automatically trust your skills as uh, as a great inspector it seems like for years we've sort of had to we are almost guilty till proven innocent as as inspectors as far as our technical side when they see that you have um, a really fantastic business process, um, it gives you a lot of credibility as far as the knowledge you have as an inspector. Um, and so that, that we found out that that really helps. You know, here's, here's just a, a view of when you hit call people so that you can just go, bam, there's the client and call their cell, or bam, there's the buyer's agent, was I confused, where the heck are you? kind of thing. You're not calling your office or your wife looking for 
um, their their number. Um, agreements. Um, so agreements, you know, a couple of things on your automated emails that go out to the clients and agents on your on your clients confirmation email, you're going to have your link to your agreement or your agreements plural. So let me talk about agreements for just a second. You can actually attach agreement or agreements plural with your inspection types. So like. Like uh, like Ben was talking about um, their their great infrared stuff. Okay, so let's just say you're doing IR as well. See, so let's say you have uh, a standard inspection. And it's just got one agreement, but let's say you have a second agreement if you're doing infrared as well. So the ISN would know if it's a it's a standard inspection plus thermography that it sends the two agreements. So it all still is filled out automatically and the system knows that it can send out the multiple agreements just based on the inspection types. Now, if the client got that email, of course you can prove when you sent it, right? So that's cool. Now, now they can't say they had to sign the contract under duress or whatever at the agreement, at the, at the inspection. You get the inspection, if the buyer is there, you can pull out your inspector mobile, and you can actually pull this out, click on sign, and they can look at the agreement and that they can actually sign the agreement or agreements plural. Now the cool, the cool thing is, is not, let's say they don't show up then, now they don't show up at the inspection. They've had two opportunities to sign that agreement. We all used to have to hold the report till we got payment and signature, and we all know that that's not uh, fun for us as inspectors. It's certainly not fun for the agent because the agent's caught in the middle. And then they're going to say, but Ben, after all the work I give you, come on, and the buyer's a doctor. And, you know, all those stories we've all heard with ISN, you can put in your settings, um, gosh, if they haven't signed or paid, they can't open up the report. So you can just send out the, the completed report. You don't have to worry about it. The client gets the email, they open it up, and it says your, your report is ready, but it appears you haven't signed and paid. You can do so now. So this electronic signature thing, all tied in and automated, takes away all of your agreement pains, and, and there's no more printing of the agreements. Um, if you have somebody complaining about an inspection you did eight months ago, you don't have to root around in your garage anymore looking for it. Um, it's it's all right there and and and, and trackable. Um, so let's see, let's move that up. So here now you can record cash and do all of that. And I and I can tell you that um, we have um, uh, quite a few integrated processors. And one of the really cool things is we have such a a, a great processor uh, with Guardian Financial that literally they usually save everybody enough money on. Um, uh, on their credit card fees that it usually just pays for their ISN fee. So it's, it's fantastic. Um, uh, so you can have everything completely integrated as well. And of course, and that pushes right into your invoice and changes the page. So all of everything again is all connected. Um, you can start a new order. We talked about view and complete and you can text agents the real estate dashboard. And we'll, that's what we'll talk about um, you know, next is the real estate dashboard. So um, now, so far, what we've talked about is just an overview of ISN, and we just went over the mobile side of, for the inspector mobile, just what the inspector or the business owner sees. We're going to talk now about the real estate dashboard, which uh, we came out a little bit over a year ago with it, and um, it's an amazing thing on what's happened. And a little bit of this was designed um, uh, about, let me explain. Uh, when you put uh, on, your, on your website, uh, and agents, there's some agents that just like to call and talk to you, but there's some agents that just want to go to your website 24-7 and order an inspection. So it's, it's, it's really, in my view, just part of opening your business doors today. It's not, well, I don't like that. You need to be have it be connected. You need to have them have the ability to order online because there's some of your realtors and clients that will expect that. One of the things we hear from real estate agents is, I don't want to put in the client information and the address and the square footage and all this stuff before I see your availability. 
because they they because they need to have it Thursday afternoon or something. Well, what they don't understand is is um, with ISN you can you have you put in your pricing, but you also can charge more for older houses, and you can charge more for drive time. You can charge more for um, uh, you know pier and beam or crawl spaces. You can charge more for um, uh, zip codes, and so we need to have that information before we can give them a price. So what we did is we said, all right, so let's get out of our own way because for us as business owners on the inspection side, the more information we can get the clients or real estate agents to give us right off the top, the better we like it, right? But if we want to get more business, how do we make it easier for the agents? Um, and then we'll we'll take more business. So the real estate dashboard is what I would call realtor centric. In other words, it is um, let's let's have that make it so easy for them to reach in their pocket, pull out their phone, click on your um, actual logo for your inspection company, and order an inspection. So it's a tool so agents never have to use anybody else. Um, a great way to get more presentations. One of the things that's happened is that we have found that. You know, right now, it used to be like everybody wanted to talk to us as home inspectors because they were wor worried we were going to ruin their deal. They didn't understand inspections. That's all changed. My wife has been um, at a multi-appraisal um, firm. She's actually a, a Nevada appraisal commissioner, uh, and she speaks at the real estate offices all the time. And what happens is, is that now they want to talk to the appraisers because the appraisers, the appraisals are – are killing a lot of deals. So it's getting a little harder to get into some of the real estate offices and have something new and fun to talk about. And I think that that's one of the things that um, InterNACHI really brings to you guys is if you look at the new information coming out, that they give you new topical stuff. So I hope you're using that. But these, the real estate dashboard is, hey, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Broker or gatekeeper to the office is, we now have designed a um, you can call it an app because it's what they understand is we have an app where you can have it right on your phone to see your past inspections you've done with this see your availability uh, see our availability and make it real easy would you like us to come speak at your office and tell you about that because it's about them but yet you're getting your app for your office on their phone it's a wonderful thing and, and it's really working if you talk to somebody across the country that, that is um, using it and using real estate dashboard as a way to market, I think you'll get very positive responses. So, um, so here's the deal. So here's a screenshot with um, my inspector. So that would be your lo logo right there. And imagine that that's just right on the agent's phone. Imagine if you could get that on 50 or 100 agent's phones, what that would do to your business. They're not going to go somewhere else. And we made, we made it very, very simple. So here's, here's a view. So imagine that Carolyn clicks on your logo, and, and she sees her photo, her information, and, and, and she can do five things. She can call you without typing. She can hit um, email, and the email's pulled up with your email in there. She can order an inspection, she can view inspections, or she can update her information when she changes offices or she wants to get rid of her prom photo. Um, so, you know, that we made it specifically really, really simple, okay? So now uh, what we found is agents, uh, our inspectors want choice as always, and so we're going to talk about some of the flexibility and what the agent can actually do. The first thing is, is if you're a multi-inspector firm, that you can you can um, show them, well, which inspector am I interested in? Well, I only want John, and then you will have put in your ISN what availability slots you want to offer. So, you know, like in, in Vegas here, summertime, we'll usually put in three slots in the summer because it gets, you know, dark earlier, we'll put two in. Now, you know, some people will go, oh, yeah, but what happens when I do the 10,000-foot house and all that? Well, they're not going to book this on a 10,000-foot house, or if they do, you're going to call them back because they're not going to get a price and everything anyway. 
It's just they're securing their time. They're not going to see your calendar. They're not going to see what's going on, how busy you are, all those things we worry about as business owners. Now, what we have found is a lot of times the real estate agent is next to the client and says, okay, we need, great, we got our, we got our offer accepted. Let's um, get an inspection. They pull out their phone. They click on their real estate dashboard. They click into two clicks with no typing. They see the availability, and then they just call you. So they use the real estate dashboard to see what your availability is, and they might call you up and go, um, hey, Ben, I'd like to take that 2.30 spot on Tuesday. Now, of course, they can click and, do the inspe and order the inspection if they would like, and they don't have to put in you know, square footage so they don't get a price. All they get is, is they, you get an email and a text that says you got an order on real estate dashboard and then you'll call them back and get the rest of the information. So again, this part of it was specifically designed to be real tour centric. If they want to do a complete order and get uh, pricing and pick the, pick the um, kind of inspections they want and all that, they could go to your website, your Facebook, or obviously they could call you. Okay. So now, um, let's say the inspection report is in the palm of your hand. So we all get calls um, that says, hey, Ben, that inspection you did for me three weeks ago, um, I'm with the contractor right now, and I was wondering if we could ask you a few questions or you could send us the report again. You know, well, Ben's on his way to an inspection. He's like, all right. Uh, you know, used to have to go, well, let me call you back tonight. Now everybody's not happy with Ben because they want the report right now because we're all a hear me now society. And, or you have to call your office and go, can you find it and send it or whatever you have to do with the, uh, you know, with this, they can go into their own real estate dashboard and they can see their reports. Now, again, you can, if you don't want them to be able to see this, you can do it under sendings and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, uh, but um, that has really been a, a great time saver. And the agents like it because if they were part of the transaction and you allow them to see the reports, then they can view them and they're not bugging, bugging us. Now, if you um, are on ISN or you're going to give us a try later under settings and office settings where a lot of our customizing uh, happens for your own personal needs is the real estate dashboard. And that's how you would get to the real estate dashboard. Okay. Um, now there's options, and we talked about the options of the real estate dashboard. So we can choose if you want agents to have access to the reports or not. We can choose the scheduler. So if you don't want the real estate dashboard, if you're like, hey, Dan, that's cool, I like the idea, but I don't want to have to call these people back, I just want them to book, you can actually have the full operating system to order on their real estate dashboard. Um, uh, but we don't recommend it because then the agents aren't going to type a whole bunch of information in their phone. Yeah, so I would almost suggest to you that if you don't want to use the real estate dashboard with to make it real easy for the agents, just, just train and teach them to go to your online scheduler or to call you um, or do one of those two things because, but we, we sort of, we had some, enough people ask us, uh, you know, to do the full order form on the real estate dashboard that we do give you that option, but we certainly don't recommend it. Um, scheduling options, how the real estate dashboard shows availability and you can choose your notifications, what goes out and when, and then you can name your app. In other words, what they see on their desktop. So let's go up and take a look. Allow agents um, uh, to see and view all the reports. So you can say, not, not check that, and then they can't see their reports. Allow agents to schedule an inspection. So you can literally not allow them to schedule. They can just see your stuff, which I, again, we gave you more options than we think probably um, is great for you, but um, we want you're, you're our customer. You're in, you're the one that we're always going to leave in control. In control, here's the instead of using the special real estate scheduler, use the 
simple online scheduler that we don't recommend. And then uh, show inspectors uh, and allow the agent to choose one. So you can actually not show the inspectors and just show the open availability time if you're a multi-inspector firm, if you don't want them picking a particular inspector. Um, as a, as a, a past real estate agent, I would want that because I'm going to have my I'm going to have the inspector I want to pick. So, but again, you're a choice. Do not show the inspectors and give the agent the first available appointment. Do not show the inspectors, but allow the agent to choose a date and time, and then how far out. Show appointments, even if they are less than 24 hours. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can. And with the real estate uh, professional schedule and inspection, please send an SMS. So you want to get a text that says, hey, I got an order on my real estate dashboard. I need to call them back and finish up the order so that the confirmation emails with the contract and stuff go out. When a real estate professional schedules an inspection, please send an email to. So you can, you can really get it down to what you want as far as choice. This is what your, um, how you choose what your availability settings are for each inspector. So you would put, um, you know, Jeffrey here and put him in his open slots and course you may want to change that from time to time basically from uh, winter to summer and um, and then if you have an inspector that um, uh, like let's say you have somebody that is taking a week off if you just put it on your ISM calendar week off or an appointment it's just going to show that those aren't available so uh, you're not going to have any double booking issues again the key to ISM is is we, we're very proud of all, of all these great features, but the fact that they're connected is really the, the, the difference. So imagine uh, here's, here's a couple what the instant notifications look like. Um, over here on the right, a new inspection order has been completed. Please note this order is incomplete. An incomplete order blocks a spot on your ISN calendar. It shows on your ISN calendar as it's sort of grayed out a little bit. So you can tell the difference, which means that no confirmation emails and text reminders will go out. It's just going to hold that spot. So then you can then you could uh, quickly log into your ISN and and finish the order, you know, and call them and you know quote them a price and all of that. You'll also get a text. So if you're in the field, hey, I got an order. Um, getting new agents to use your services has never been easier. So. One of the things that we found out is we had this great tool but it, uh, in the real estate dashboard, but it was hard to get it on the agent's phones. And so we've really spent a lot of time uh, figuring out what's the easier way to do that. So you'll notice down here we've got send agent their real estate dashboard, and, and the best way to do it is to text it to them, ideally while you're with them, whether that's an office presentation or at an inspection. So imagine that you would go in here and click, you know, search for agents. Um, you want to send their dashboard. And let's say I started to type over here on the left DA. So the agents in your database would pop up. When we see it, it's this uh, uh, Dana Carper. Um, she'll have her own special link. You get her phone number, right? Type it in, and then you hit send. And then she will get this link, hopefully while you're standing right with her, and then, and then now you can show her how to put that on her desktop because, um, you know, uh, it, one of the things I like about Apple is it's consistent on the Androids. They're not all the same. You may have a real estate agent that <clears throat> understands how to use their own phone, but, you know, hey, a lot of us, let's be honest, don't know how to use all the cool stuff on our phone. But you want to be able to get, like here, that icon that says honor on that agent's website, or excuse me, on their desktop on their phone. Because now, then they know that all they have to do is click on it to check availability. Okay? And this is showing Android. And this is in, in your ISN where you would go um, to email the real estate dashboard. So if you had somebody on the phone and you were, you were taking an order or something, you could say, hey, and you wanted to send it not from, you know, your mobile, um, you could send it right from your ISN. Because they, if they have an email, um, uh, they will do it um, if you have uh, established value and, you, and they're expecting it. 
but the best way is to text it to them. It really um, has made a lot of difference on the texting side. Um, your your emails, um, we have a, a, a standard email, so you could literally, um, like let's say you went to do a presentation at a specific office, you could do a mass email right out of ISN to that specific office, and if you let them know, okay, after the presentation today um, about this wonderful thing called Real Estate Dashboard, we're going to send it, I'm going to send it all to just you guys, and let's say here over on the right, um, you know, they could click real estate dashboard and they, they would get their actually their own specific link just for them. So it's a great way of doing it on the email. But again, email we found only works if you've really established some good value. The texting is, is the home run. Um, so this is what we've talked about is texting versus email, the real estate dashboard. The texting really is the way. Um, email, um, certainly a mass email doesn't work. I mean, we've had people send a, um, uh, a mass email to all their agents in their database about real estate dashboard and they don't have very, very good results. Um, we've got a couple things here. Um, uh, again, we're, uh, Ben's going to show you the link where it'll be, uh, this presentation will be on ISN uh, website for you. Um, we've got a couple different things here is, is that you've got um, the real estate dashboard, there's the video on it. There's our help site with information, any kind of information you want. And then we have um, our welcome or our training videos that are, are really great. So um, I'll, let me just show you real quick. Like if you, if you just go, um, you know, learn more about ISN right here, you'll see we have videos on every subject. Well, how do I add users and how much of them do I want people to see? You know, so like I don't want my inspector to see everybody else's inspections. I don't want them to see the business reports, et cetera. Um, what are my services or my inspection types? How do I add and manage my fees? Um, how do I take a, a order on this thing called ISN? How does the calendar, how does the calendar work? How does my kids baseball, you know, works just like a Google Calendar. And by the way, our um, our calendar um, does an automatic sync with um, with your iCal calendar, or your Google Calendar, if you'd like. How do you take an order? Um, how do you set up the email templates? How do you customize the order form for what you need? So, what check boxes and drop downs do you need? Um, do you work with insurance carriers? Do you you know, what kind of services, what kind of information do you want to take so that the order form is exactly in the order that you want? How do you get your agreements and how do you associate those agreements with your inspection types? How do you set up your text reminders and follow-ups? Um, how do you upload and email reports? You know, like there's cool things that are happening where um, like Home Inspector Pro as an example, they, um, they have a button um, uh, that says when you're done with your report, upload to ISN, and it just goes right in into ISN. So um, that that's a really cool feature. Where uh, again, all the all the major report writers have where you take that order on ISN, that information pushes into your report writer, so you're not having to retype. Video on all the business reports, and then we have like a new user checklist, just so you can see. All right, let me see how I'm doing. And by the way, um, we have personalized one-on-one -on -one training. Um, one of the things that is kind of interesting is, is that I'm very not a technical guy. I'm just a, I'm just a business guy, you know, sales guy, you know, relationship guy like people. But, um, you know, the uh, having engineers that understand the business and, and really keep things simple um, is important. But the ISN does offer a lot of options. And so what we offer is free one-on-one -on -one training. We do a webinar just like we're doing one-on-one -on -one so you can get things set up after you watch these videos. Like here's the real estate dashboard. If you want an overview of what we talked about today, how you upload agents, if you use recall check, and how you set up your online schedule or how our billing works. So again, that is that is um, right here on our homepage. Just learn more.
and um, let's just go back here. There's a couple things, and then um, we have um, free setup and free for 60 days. That's our normal uh, reality. So what does that really mean? Well, that means that um, you're going to sign up. You're not going to give us any money. You can cancel anytime you want, no charge. You can, uh, you're going to send us your agent and agencies list if you have them. You're going to send us your logo. You're going to send us your, your agreement or agreements plural that you use. You know, obviously we have the InterNACHI agreement there. But I mean, a lot of times people have their own agreements or customized agreements, and we literally have to have engineers type them in and get them ready so that they work well on the web. And then we do. We'll do up to two uh, one and a half hour free trainings with with you, and you can still cancel any time for 60 days. That's how sure we are that the ISN will help save you time, automate, make your life easier. Yes, the marketing's good. Yes, the business reports are good. All this other stuff, but it will immediately start relieving your pain. And of course, uh, Ben and Nick, we always uh, work well with uh, with their team. And we're, as you know, InterNACHI is always looking to give you uh, extra value you don't get elsewhere. So if you sign up through this link right here, you get 90 days free. And so if we haven't earned your trust, if you don't see the value in ISN anytime during that period, it's simple. You just cancel and you haven't spent a penny. So um, uh, we value your time. I wanted to leave about 15 minutes if there's if there's any questions, um, uh, Ben or I will be glad to answer them. Otherwise, we can um, everybody can get about about our day and and um, have a productive day. So, Ben, I'll I'll shoot it back to you and see if there's any questions that um, uh, uh, the guys have. Yeah, there is. Um, Kenton asks about um, the logo that's on the iPhone. I think it was like slide number 26. Um, it was the Honor logo. Was there? And yes. um, can that, that's the Honor logo. That's, that's, um, that's Michelle Shashila's company's logo. We can substitute that logo with our own, right, through the ISN profile or something, right? Absolutely. So if you're using ISN for the person that asked, asked that question, you just send in your, your logo to our team, and we actually have one of our engineers you know, cut it down and make it look really nice, and then we'll have that inserted into your real estate dashboard. Because absolutely, that will be your personal um, uh, logo. And let's see. There's another question. Um, it comes from Richard. He asks, I use HomeGage for my reporting. I really want to use their HTML report. Is this supported, or is it only for PDF reports in ISN? Yeah, that's a really great question, sir. So, so HomeGage is connected with ISN. So here's what happens is, is um, uh, uh, Russell Buchanan has been kind enough to, um, to connect with ISN. And, uh, you know, be sure and thank him for that because we do have some competing features, right? Um, and so, uh, but, but we're all about making, giving all of our users options. So if, you're, if you want to use ISN and you want to use HomeGage and their HTML upload with the, um, uh, with the video, then you will, you will take your order on ISN. It will push into your HomeGage report. When you're, ho when you're finished with your HomeGage report, you upload the HTML uh, report um, and send it out through HomeGage just like you're already doing. And then if you choose, you can, you can convert that to a PDF and push it into ISN so it's available on the agent's real estate dashboard. You have it on your mobile and all those cool things. If you don't want to do the extra move of creating the PDF and putting it in ISN, that's certainly your choice. So we have lots of HomeGage ISN, ISN users, and so you certainly can have the best of both worlds. Um, there's another question from Don. Um, if there are multiple ISN users in your area, do I have a unique link in the realtor's phone? How does it keep me separate? Yeah, absolutely. So it's a great question. So um, there probably will be multiple ISN users in your market because we have about 25% of the inspectors nationally use ISN now. Um, so one of the one of the important things is is to try to get that real estate dashboard in the hands of your agents as soon as possible. 
there are situations, no doubt, and will be more as we grow, that you'll have um, an agent that might have two different um, icons on their phone for two different inspection companies. And that's one of the reasons you'll have your unique, um, your logo on, on there. So, uh, I mean, the reality of it is, is inspect, uh, a real estate agents, uh, they do see other inspectors behind your back more than they want to say when they see you. Um, so, uh, they, what's unique is, is that you just got to be the one that gets it on their phone. And we do have like in some of the big markets where we've talked to some of the agents that they have, you know, a couple of real estate dashboards on, on their phone. Cause the reality of it is they may say that they love you. They only use you, but if they need Friday afternoon and you're not available, they're going to have their B choice. And so, um, uh, we don't have regions or, um, you know, where you can be the only one in that area, but you certainly want to be the only one with the real estate dashboard on their phone or at least one of two. And um, that's about it for the questions. Um, if there are any more questions, feel free um, to just ask them in your texting uh, box there. And um, Dan, I really like ISN. There was a couple things I really, really liked, um, especially for the 90-day um, offer for our Internet Chief members. Thank you for that. And... Um, you know, nowadays, um, oh, I remember when I was a home inspector, I was, frankly, I was clumsy with technology. Um, I barely could um, write a report. I was using Word, Microsoft Word, to write a report. And um, my cameras were really big, and, and it was a lot of chips and going back and forth. And uh, emailing, we hardly did any emailing. Um, but um, nowadays, it's very different. The world is different. And there's a ex high expectation really, because technology is so easy to use, both agents and clients expect you to be somewhat technically savvy. And an ISN makes it so easy. I really don't, I can still st stay clumsy, but ISN makes me look um, savvy. And so I kind of like that. Um, and th th that's true, right? I can still be my clumsy self and you kind of just take care of everything. I don't have to learn new technology. Well, I mean, what I tell people, Ben, is is that there's about, I would say, six hours of pain, um, <laughs> you know, to, uh, you know, because you watch the videos and, and then we have the videos in like 10 minute segments. You do your hour and a half training and, and you take a couple of test orders and you're off. And maybe you're not using 100 percent of this Ferrari but I'll tell you what, that Ferrari goes really fast in second gear. So you don't have to be this expert. And the great thing is, is we have live phone and chat support 11 hours a day, Monday through Friday. And I, I will tell you, if you ask around to people that use ISN, ask them about our support because we want you to know that we're your resource. We're there to help you. So if you are frustrated, um, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're here to help and, and I'm with Ben, I'm not a techie guy. It's weird. I have a technical company. Um, cause I think of our company, like we're your business support. It just happens to be technical and we take all those concerns away. So if you're, if you're looking at this and going, wow, I'm not so good on the computer. It's too much. Know that we'll hold your hand along the way. Wonderful. Um, Dan, I want to thank you very much. Um, it's an honor to have you on our live class. And um, thank you very much, especially for that 90-day um, offer. And um, I will send everybody an email, um, unlike a, a quick text that I could do through ISN. I'm going to send everybody an email with the links that we talked about and more information um, about ISN. And Dan, thank you very much. Um, you'll be in Vegas this year at the 2015 Inspection Universe Conference? Yeah, we're very excited. Of course, I live here, but Michelle's coming in from uh, California, and our other trainer, Z, is coming in from, uh, from California, and Michelle's from Florida, and we're actually going to be teaching a couple classes. So if you haven't signed up for that, everybody, um, I know there's a lot of, a lot of great uh, folks are coming. I know that there's um, some really good speakers they got lined up, so Hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll see you there in person.
Thank you, Dan. And thank you, everybody, for attending. I'm Ben Gramica from Internachi. Talk to you later. Bye. Have a great day.